In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set motion detection on your IP camera. In this example, I already have one camera here. It's important to follow these steps for every single camera you have. My one camera lists us D1 on my device. Go to main menu and log in into your NVR using the graphical password. Once you're in there, go into alarm and make sure you've properly set video detection. Go to the video detection menu here. Now, again, like I said, I only have one camera, so if you're doing this for multiple cameras, make sure you go through and not copy the settings. Do not use this method. It will cause more confusion and will break everything. And then you'll be emailing saying that something is not working. If you need to default your settings, just click default. And then hit apply and then start over. So D1, enable, go to settings in the region. You can select different regions if you want. We have a whole video about this. I'm not going to go into that. This is just meant to be more of a troubleshooting session uh, in case you've got yourself into a situation where you're saying you're not getting subscription uh, based alerts or push notifications. So what I did was I the red marks the spots that I wanted to detect motion detection. This is video based motion detection. So if there's like even light coming here or going away, it'll trigger motion detection. Right click out. Schedule. Make sure you enable it for all. Hit OK. The yellow mean it's detecting it during that time. Then uh, you can tell it to do certain things like show the message on the HDMI output on the NVR like I'm logged into at the moment. You can tell it to record a channel. If you had multiple cameras, you can select other channels to record at the same time when motion is triggered on this channel. There's lots of other stuff. You can even do a buzzer, etc. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to set it, schedule it, apply. Make sure you hit that. Second thing is right click out go into storage go to schedule for that channel make sure you're uh, setting a motion detection schedule for there right now it's all green which is general it's going to record all the time click on this gear and I'm just going to go and set it to record motion and click continuous recording all the days so it's going to record a motion only on all the days. Hit OK. You won't find any other video being recorded except for just motion detection based, video based motion detection. And here, change this to a higher value. Let's say put 99. It'll automatically default to the max being 30 seconds. So every motion detection will start from about a pre record of 30 seconds prior to uh, the event happening until that event stops happening. Hit apply. So now what I did was I scheduled motion detection for the same channel. To recap my two steps, I enable video detection on that channel, set a region, enabled it, set a recording schedule, and checked the record channel. Second thing I've done so far is I went to storage, schedule, and I set the schedule to be motion for the times I want it to be. Now the last thing a lot of people forget to do is go to record mode and set that channel to auto on the mainstream so that it follows this automatic schedule we've set. This is auto. Substream, depending on your camera, you may have one substream or two. If you wanted to just keep a lower resolution based recording all the time of your cameras, you could hit manual or you could do off or you can do auto where it'll save a second backup of the video based on the same schedule that this one's recorded at but it doesn't seem useful you're just wasting space if you just the only point for this is if you want to record all the time and keep us backup of 24 7 recording and lower resolution to save hard drive space you can hit apply for that but usually just keep it off hit apply and that's the three things that i've done to record on motion detection now if you want to see if your settings have picked up any motion you go to search you select that channel and here go in the timeline uh, zoom in to that one camera, uncheck all the other ones, 30 minutes, I don't see anything. You can drag the mouse a little bit and see if there was an event. There's something from before when I had it enabled before with some other settings and you can see motion detection occurring at this time. Um, method is very similar. If you want to do intelligent motion detection, go into AI. First you have to go parameters you have to enable a spark plan make sure it's blue hit apply then you go to IVS enable it 
and uh, you can draw trip wires and stuff like that in your video, which I've already done. And uh, we have a whole write up on how to do this. It's just easier to actually do this through the web interface. And then once you're done, you hit apply. Or you can also go and add another one. Uh, but we don't suggest adding too many uh, IVS rules because it bogs down the camera. I could go in here and draw another rule. If, let's say if I want to look at cars appearing in that lot over there. You right click when you're done. And then it'll pick up motion detection from there or event detection when cars are appearing in that in that box here. I'm just go, trying to go through this fast because the really only reason why I'm doing this video is to show you how to set up event detection. This is just a uh, bonus on a set IVS as well and properly set it up. Once you set IVS, make sure you hit apply. Go back, go back to your storage schedule. You need to enable intelligent here as well. So go on the gear. Hit intelligent for all the days. So it's recording that IVS rule I just set. So now not only do I have motion, but also IVS happening. And then in the record mode auto will pick up on that schedule I just set for both motion and IVS happening. Now let's look at this video. I can see, sometimes you can just watch your cameras to see if um, a certain IVS rules are being triggered. So there's like a car entering in here. Um, so not only do I have video based, I'm going to wait for events to happen. And in this case, this guy triggers my event right there. So although you, you see the, the camera recognizing other vehicles, um, they, they didn't trigger this box. Only that one light truck did. So I'll go back to search and I'll go to 30 minutes. And here you see it happening in blue. That event got recorded. Um, those other cars got recorded too with the other object recognition data, but that's pretty much it. So you can subscribe to this, these um, events using your push notifications on your iPhone when user, using our app as well. Hopefully you found this video useful. Go through this video a couple of times to make sure your settings are correct the same way. The main thing is you're select you have to make sure you're selecting the right channels when you're setting schedules and enabling events because otherwise then things get haywire and please don't copy the settings from one camera to another. It's, it's not a good idea. You're just going to encounter more issues. Thank you for watching.